Good morning. Oh my goodness, we're very close, aren't we? <laughs> oh, do you know, I can't be bothered to get the uh, tripod out. Because I'm on my iPad and the connection for my iPad isn't on my tripod. And I can't be bothered to go and find it, quite honestly. So you're standing on a big tub of paint, would you believe? Yeah, that's what you're standing on. But I'm here. I've got a cup of water, creaky chair as usual. Oh, I'm hoping I don't run out of battery because you know how I waffle. Terry, I've got all oh, this. The dress is all over this. <laughs> Terry, one of my subscribers has sent me a package. Would you believe she sent me all of this all the way from America? It's quite heavy. You are naughty, Terry, because, you know, postage must be astronomical. I know postage is terrible here, but I'm really excited to see what you've sent me. Now, I don't know what you... I know you can see Annie, and I know you can see Annie very close up. So, I'm just cutting into the... across the top of the package... Oh, look, it's all... Let me just check if you can see. You can. Look at that lovely paper. Multicoloured paper. Isn't that sweet? I'm going to go turn it over. Oh, look. I've got some sticks of rock. Sticks of rock. I'm gonna, my card's all stuck on there, so I'm going to put that there. And put that there. I'll look at that in a moment. I'm going to look at my card first. Butterflies. Can you see butterflies? Oh. <laughs> she, she... She was looking at expiry dates on, on sweeties. She sent me sweeties and she was looking, or candy, as you say. She was looking at expiry dates because she didn't want it. She had a problem when my Christmas package was stuck in the post forever and a day. <laughs> but this hasn't taken so long, has it? So I've got some lovely rocks since I've got. It's called Gillum. We, I haven't, we don't have that brand here that I know of. And I've got a lemon one. Oh, yeah, since 1927. I've got a peppermint one. And a, a root beer one. Well, we don't even have root beer here, so that'll be interesting. And an apple green one. Sorry, Annie. Oh. Another little package. Oh, she sent me some tea. Now I'll just read the note that's with it. She knows I do like, does like my tea. She said his, <coughs> excuse me, son started drinking his tea for his stomach and indigestion. He really likes it. That will be interesting, Terry. I will give that a go. And she's sent me lemon ginger probiotics herbal tea. Big glow? Is that big glow? Tea and proudly, every cup counts. Big glow, maybe. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna, I am gonna try that. Oh. Ooh. My favourite. Lick 
licorice all sorts. I love licorice all sorts. I've never seen them in a package like this before. Totally different package. It would be interesting to try them. Tasting. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tickly throat. Mm. Tasty mild licorice mix. No, I can't read that word. Coconut rolls and sandwiches are tumbled together for your taste buds to savour. Made in England with all natural colours and cane sugar. So they're the same as ours, just packaged different. Ooh, shall I have one? Shall I? No, Annie, you can't have one. Look at those. Mmm. Oh, God. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful. Terry, thank you very much. It's been absolutely lovely. And I'm going to... We're not sitting down later. Excuse me for talking and eating. I was taught never. I was taught never to talk when you're eating, so it's very rude. <laughs> mm. Says I'm munching away. Yeah, no, never talk and eat. <laughs> I will sit down later. I've lost the top. Oh, there it is. I will sit down later and I will have some of those while I'm watching a film or something. That would be nice. Right. I'm going to change Annie. And no, you're not having my sweet. Oh, let's get those scissors away from you. Annie is going to go into this little romper, this little knitted romper. I've probably had this as long as I've had Annie. Now, I've probably had Annie, oh, four years, five years, I don't know. Seems to be forever. And uh, I had some booties. I had two pairs of booties in this colour, in a plastic bag that I found the other day in amongst everything. I've put them to one side and I can't find them. No, nope, that is typical of me. I just cannot find them. So uh, she's probably gonna go into, just have bare feet today because it's very warm. Come over here, bunny. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, that's a good girl. You're not like that Sadie sulking over your bunnies, are you? Um. Yeah, so I don't know. And I had a pair of scratch mitts here and, oh, I know what happened. The postman rang on the bell and uh, I put them down somewhere. Oh, useless, absolutely useless I am. Never mind, never mind. Right, we'll get you sorted, shall we? Did you get you sorted for the day? Socks off. Let the air get to your smelly feet. Oh, well, yesterday we had a, we had to go, I told you we were going to East Grinstead. Um, one of our grandchildren had a dental appointment and he was sent up to East Grinstead now. Oh, I don't know how far East Grinstead is away, but it's a long way from us. It takes about an hour and a half, which is a long drive for me with my back. And um, as I say, I only drove, drive local, so, and Peter isn't confident now, because he's got older, he isn't confident driving out of places he knows, quite honestly. He, do, he doesn't like it. Oh, roundabouts and oh my goodness. Of course, I haven't got a sat nav in my car, so I'm, I'm doing it on my phone. 
and um, I let you have a little bit. I'm doing it on my phone, uh, on Google Maps, which is okay, but we got there, we did get there, round, round one round about three times before we found which turning to go off to. Um, we nearly had a crash at one stage because they'd taken all the road markings off of the, the, road, the road where they'd redone a road and all of a sudden we come to a junction and yeah, we didn't see it. So, oh, but it, it got done. We were there, we got done. Uh, trouble is it was in a residential area. So there was nothing there. There was no shops to go and look at. There was absolutely no cafe to find, nothing. Just, res just houses. So all we did, uh, while earlier took um, Jackson in for his teeth, we just had to walk up this road and back and just sat in the car and had a sandwich that I took with us. Because um, I did take something, because it was right on top of lunchtime, in case we couldn't find a shop, because I couldn't find anything on Google Maps when I checked. And uh, yeah, so that is what we did. I then drive back, but my back this morning after sitting in the car, no, I didn't like that at all. The journey back wasn't so eventful as the journey there, <laughs> thank the Lord. <laughs> uh, I bet he's all done and he was a very good boy. He didn't. The only time he got upset was when he found out he couldn't eat straight afterwards because he was starving. Oh yeah. Of course, he couldn't have anything in the morning because he was going to have sedation and... Oh. He's got, he's like me, he's got a really bad gag reflex, so they just don't want to do his teeth in a normal dentist. Just don't want to do it. And uh, now he's been up to there. My daughter was saying to them, you know, why why couldn't he go to Eastbourne? Because it was a lot closer than where we had to go. And uh, they said, oh no, NHS now, they're referring everyone to us, you know, all children obviously, to us before they go anywhere else, before they go to a main hospital. So that's why we had to go up there to this dental, oh, I didn't powder you, dental clinic. And then she said, oh, well, he's got to have... And Leah said, well, you haven't even done the one that we came here for. That's not the one the dentist sent here for. And she said, they took out... Oh, God, the itchy nose. You wobbly teeth as well. He went... When they first saw the dentist, he had four wobbly... Four teeth, and they, one had to come out, and three were wobbly. So they take all the wobbly ones out. But he keeps getting an abscess under one. So that one had to come out, and when he went yesterday, they said, oh, two had come out that was got these wobbly ones there anyway, they're gone. So they took one tooth out and they done a filling. And Leah said, well, you haven't even touched the one that we, we were told to come here for. So it's now got to be referred back to the dentist, and then hopefully be referred to uh, the hospital in Eastbourne, which is still out of my comfort zone to drive there. It's still too far for me to drive. But if she had to catch, if she had to get a taxi, it's doable. It's doable. Uh, all right. There we are. There's Annie. There is Annie. And uh, she's all done. There we go. My little love bug. Mwah. Yeah, she's, um, as I say, she's Annie Scott by Angela Lewis. And she's absolutely gorgeous, aren't you, darling? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you can have that bunny back. There we go. You don't need a dummy. You only have dummies at bedtime. Yeah. All right, I hope you're all well. Thank you once again, Terry, for my lovely present. I love it. I will try the tea and I will eat my sweeties. I will. Oh, right. 
I've had two weeks, three weeks, three weeks now with no crisps, no chocolate. Um, I've been on all low fat. Um, so my, my sweets will be a treat. They will, certainly will. I really wanted chocolate the other day and I really wanted crisps, but I didn't give in. And Peter said, uh, do you want a bar of chocolate? I said, no, I better not. Don't tell him. <laughs> he doesn't like licorice all sorts, so I'm going to get them all to myself anyway. Right. I'm going to go have a lovely day. I've got loads to do. I'm going to go and do some cleaning. Um, I've got a line for the washing because it's a beautiful day again. And uh, whatever you're doing, have fun. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And... I'll be back next week. Oh, I might try out this foot. I still haven't tried this Timu order, this foot massager. Haven't done it. So I've just put it on to charge and I might do that this afternoon when I'm sitting down my sweets. Yeah. <laughs> right, ladies, I'm gonna go. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.